Okay, hello and welcome to the 32nd episode, I think, of Quizzing with the Members. We are uh, in the middle of an Anshula streak. Let's see what happens in today's episode. We have a very fun lineup, as always. Uh, let's call them one by one. Our first contestant is Akshay. Hi, hi, Kevin. Hi, Akshay. Is this a revenge match of sort? Did you, was, was it you who Anshula defeated to become the champion or what was the order? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Anshula oh. defeated me, but yeah, it's not a revenge match. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, just yeah. trying to make just the just... more reality TV exciting, Akshay. <laughs> I know that feeling is not there. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All the best, Akshay. On that note, our defending Thank champion, you. Anshula. Hello, hi, everyone. Thank you. Anshula, any... Any message for your opponents who have come here to dethrone you? Like, uh... <laughs> Let's just quiz well and have fun. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. On that note, our debut, uh, like making his debut in quizzing the member series, you've seen him on uh, the quiz show and so excited to have him on quizzing with members. Give it up for Dhruv. Hi, KV. Hi, everybody. Hey, Dhruv. Dhruv. Have you been following quizzing with the members? I have, yes. I've been religiously watching it uh, every Wednesday slash Thursday whenever it comes out. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so excited to have Dhruv here. And on that note, Tushar Rao, our last contestant on this panel, Tushar. Hey, hi, hi, baby. Hi, Tushar. Hi, 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 hi. Nice. Hi, nice, 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 nice. Okay, Akshay, Anshula, Dhruv, Tushar will begin. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We'll straight away jump with our first question to Akshay. Akshay, set on the stunning Thai island of Samui, the third season of a popular TV series is expected to draw a significant influx of tourists, just as its previous seasons did for Hawaii and Sicily. The island, renowned for its white sandy beaches and luxurious resorts, is currently grappling with the challenges of balancing environmental sustainability and tourism growth. Filming locations include the Four Seasons, which is a high-end hotel nestled in a tropical forest with views of the Gulf of Thailand. Local businesses heavily reliant on tourism hope the series will boost visitor numbers despite the ongoing issues of water scarcity, marine life disturbances, and waste management. This show's influence on its settings has been profound turning them into sought-after destinations almost overnight. Identify the TV show we are talking about. I don't really know, but is this a reality TV show? I mean, can I know that? If all four of you are okay with me clarifying, I'll do that. Otherwise, it's... Not, I mean, I haven't guessed. Yes. Not sure. Okay. Sure. Be wrong. Okay. No, no, makes sense. Okay. Um, I'm going to say uh, The Bachelor. Not the bachelor going to Anshula. It's the white lotus. It is the white lotus. Yes. Oh. 11 points there to Anshula. White lotus makes wherever the, the season is shot becomes extremely popular, which happened with Sicily the last season, happened with Hawaii in the first season, and is going to happen with Thailand the next season of the white lotus. Okay. Great crack. 11 points there to Anshula, which means the next direct will come to Dhruv. Okay, Dhruv. Kabosu was a notable Shiba Inu dog from Japan, adopted by kindergarten teacher Atsuko Sato and named after a citrus fruit. This dog gained widespread recognition through a 2010 blog post by Sato and became the central figure in certain memes. Despite facing health challenges, including leukemia, this beloved can canine continued to captivate audiences until its passing very recently on May 24th, 2024 leaving behind a legacy that transcended internet culture. How do we all know this dog? Is this the Dogi coin uh, yes. dog? Yeah. Yes, um, yes, yes. 10 points there to Dhruv. And I can see the other three smiling because all of all of them knew this answer. And they got like, yes, Dhruv, you will direct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this was <laughs> news also recently and has been in news uh, with crypto and memes in general and Elon Musk. And... Yeah, okay, cool. 10 points there to Dhruv. Which means the next direct will be to Tushar. Okay, Tushar, one of those direct visual questions. Just look at the board games that you see on your screen and tell me what do you think would be the name of this board game? So, KV, uh, quick question. Hmm? 
so i see the pieces like you know that have been used uh, on the uh, tag the uh, so i mean i can't really see them are, are they you know based on some mythical creature some some sort of a uh, a creature if i may ask that okay sure 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 oh, even... so I'll, i'll i'll give a clarification for all four of you which will make it simpler because um, there aren't enough hints in the text uh, so your answer will be a place name okay, okay. for first round this is the clarification your answer will be a proper noun of a place name camelot uh, no passing to akshay jerusalem not jerusalem going to anshula uh is it santorini yes 12 points there to anshula it is santorini and now it will make sense especially when you know how santorini the color combination and everything were big clue santorini in the greek island okay this is the game and now if you see the picture yeah it is santorini in the aegean sea okay 12 points there to anshula which means the next direct will be to dhru through there exists a unique venture capital firm known as inqtel or iqt based in arlington virginia this not for profit entity plays a crucial role in equipping intelligence agency notably the cia with cutting edge information technology with a nod to fictional innovation inqtel's name subtly pays homage to a character known for his ingenuous gadgets and tools none other than the supplier of technology to x whose trusted gadget supplier does inqtel's name allude to uh this is james bond this james bond yes 10 points there to drew and of course we are talking about q q so q inqtel q and q portrayed by different actors over the years these are all q's okay Drew gets ten, which means we come to Tushar for probably the most fun question of this quiz. Tushar, just tell me oh. what is planned out in in this. This is the deaths due to Titanic. Yes, that is correct. Ten points. This is one of those <laughs> current pop culture memes, uh, which we found and we loved it. And potential quiz question: Annual deaths, nineteen twelve and twenty twenty three. Sorry to anyone who was affected with this. Okay, ten, ten points there to Tushar. uh well done which means the next direct will be to sorry this is titanic next direct to akshay akshay uh, yeah one of those rare short questions soprano concert tenor and baritone are four most common types of what instrument this is piano not piano going to anshula um ukulele yes 11 points there to anshula we are talking about ukulele 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 and you can see from left to right soprano concert tenor baritone four different types of ukulele which means the next direct will be to dhruv dhruv talking about a certain artist this artist born in 1999 debuted on tv in law and order special victims unit in 2011 and the goodwin games in 2013 She rose to fame on the Disney Channel with Girl Meets World from 2014 to 17. She starred in Adventures in Babysitting in 2016, as well as Work It in 2020, which she also executive produced. She began her music career in 2014 with the single and EP "Can't Blame a Girl for Trying." Several singles topped the U.S. Dance Club Songs chart. Her single "Skin" charted on the Billboard Hot 100. Her 2022 album with top 10 US pop airplay singles was her highest charting. She had her first Hot 100 top 10 song in 2024. Who is this multi-talented singer and actress? I don't really have an idea about this. Um, uh, um, Doja Cat. Not Doja Cat. Going to Tushar. Wild guess. Uh, is it Zendaya? Not Zendaya. Going to Akshay. Oh, no, we are Rodrigo. No, going to Anshula. Sabrina Carpenter. Yes, thirteen points there to Anshula. We are talking about Sabrina Carpenter. Okay, Sabrina Carpenter. 
great track. The latest song to enter top 10 was a song called Espresso. Okay. And of course, Nonsense, Feather, bunch of songs. Okay. 13 points there to Anshula, which means the next direct will be to Dhruv. Okay. Dhruv X's rise revolutionized travel by offering unique stays in local homes worldwide, allowing travelers to immerse in local cultures at a fraction of traditional hotel costs. However, the X effect led to soaring rental prices, pricing locals out of neighborhoods, and increased scams with limited support for hosts and guests. Amid these challenges, Y emerged as an ethical alternative, promoting sustainable community-driven tourism by partnering with locals to support communities and sustainable practices. Y is also a play on the name of X. So I don't want X. All I want from you is Y, which is the ethical alternative to X. Is it, um, and this is a wild guess, but is it fair BNB? Yes, nicely reduced. Wow. Nicely done. Nicely done. <laughs> Very nicely done. It is fair BNB. Well done. Play on, of course, Airbnb, but more ethical. It's fair BNB. Nicely done. Very good. Okay, hat trick of 10 for Drew. And that brings us to a very fast first half. Uh, interesting, interesting first half so far. Akshay yet to open his account, but second half is left. Anshula has had a great start on the back of 11 for the White Lotus, 12 for Santorini, 11 for Ukulele, and 13 for Sabrina Carpenter. Uh, Anshula is on 47 right now, followed by Drew, who, like I said, hat tricks of threat. Uh, sorry, hat tricks of tens with uh, Dogecoin, Do the Shiba Inu dog, 10 point for um, James Bond, and 10 for Fair BNB, my favorite answer of the half, uh, 30 points. And Tushar has 10 for Titanic, only one who is making points out of deaths over a century, Tushar. Okay, 10 points to Tushar, <laughs> which means now we'll start the second half. The order will be Tushar, Dhruv, Anshula, and Akshay. Okay. First direct will be to Tushar. Tushar, this is for you. When considering economic indicators, one might not immediately think of snacks. However, there is a particularly tasty treat that has been observed to show an intriguing trend during economic downturns. This popular dash snack, often enjoyed with creamy toppings, seems to see a rise in demand when the economy falters. Economists have even coined a term for this phenomenon. In the 2009 economic downturn, dash ticket sales saw a surprising increase, reflecting this counter-cyclical demand. Interestingly, during six out of the last eight recessions, a similar trend was noted. Just tell me what index are we talking about? Is it the cupcake index? Not cupcake index. Index going to the roof? Uh, is this the... Uh... Is this popcorn? Yes. Yes, it is popcorn. It is buttered popcorn to be specific, but popcorn is good enough. Popcorn and the dash, of course, was movie. So this popular movie snack, movie ticket sales saw a surprising increase. And so, yeah, buttered popcorn index. We are talking about popcorn index. 11 points there to Dhruv. And as we know, according to some indicators, popcorn sales start increasing when there is an economic downturn. Okay. Next direct will be to Anshula. Anshula, it was chosen as 2006 word of the year by the American Dialect Society at its annual meeting. To dash is to demote or devalue someone or something. Much like what happened a year back when the General Assembly of the International Astronomical Union took a decision. Which word are we talking about? Is it Pluto? Uh, just can you make it verb form like like to Pluto Plutoing yeah, yeah. Plutoing or Plutoed yeah. or, yes yeah. yes Pluto is the funda and Plutoed will be the <coughs> word Plutoed means to devalue something or pair something 10 points there to Anshula this is one of those classic quiz questions you know and uh, whenever I when we were working on this quiz this whole nostalgia came to my mind because the first time I as a quizzer faced this question I still have that memory was in the Tech Fest of Anna University in Chennai in 2006-07. Okay, so I had gone in that college fest and it was finale. So prelims done on stage for final. And this question came and this was such a current affairs question then. 
<laughs> you know, because it had just happened. We all went, oh my God, Pluto, oh, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> and the current affairs news is after almost 20 years now, it's like, ah, okay, this had happened. But the question remains the same. The fun remains the same. Beautiful. Classic quizzing. Oh, okay. 10 points there to Anshula, which means the next direct will be to Akshay. Akshay, what you see on your screen is the Eastgate Center in Harare, Zimbabwe. Stays cool without traditional air conditioning. It uses materials that absorb and release heat, along with fans and openings for airflow, saving energy and costs. The design was inspired by a natural structure known for regulating internal climate. Recent studies show these structures function like lungs for gas exchange and their climate control inspired the East Gate Center. Tell me the natural structure we are talking about. And I can add slight clarification for all four of you is that the answer is not a proper enough. So don't think of a, a specific uh, natural structure. This is a common noun. So is this, so when we say natural structure, it's like a building or something, right? Uh, something natural. Okay. Mm, for first round, I won't give you anything extra yeah. except the fact that don't think like, don't think Victoria Falls or, you know, any other of the, mm. a specific <clears throat> thing of a common now. Caves? Not caves, going to Tusha. Is it like a honeycomb? Uh, not honeycomb, going to Dhruv. That was going to be my guess, is that a beehive? But um, I can't think of it, I'll pass. Okay, okay. going to Anshula. Um, rainforest. Not rainforest. Okay, cool. <clears throat> we'll start again with Akshay with a head. So beehive and honeycomb are actually good guesses because we are talking about something natural made by something natural. You know. Uh, so insects is a good track. Hmm. Should we take a pause at this? I think I have a guess. Ah, uh, okay, Akshay. Ant hills. Um. I'll no, I'll 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 go to Tushar. Okay, I thought that was gonna be the answer. <laughs> uh, Burrows? Not Burrows. Uh going to Dhruv. It's an ant colony as opposed to not, an not an <laughs> okay. no, going to Anshula. But um uh, is it a cocoon? No, okay, okay. Uh, the reason Antil was very close is because they are oh, my. <laughs> Yes, we are talking about termite mounds. Okay, so because this is Africa, so you know Africa, Australia, South America. We are talking about termite mounds. Okay, so termite mounds inspired um, this building. But since nobody gave me a better answer than ant hills, um, like after Tusha, uh, after Akshay, there were three more guesses. Should we give some point for ant hills? What do you guys think? Like a little bit? No? Go for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because ant hills are almost there. And nobody gave termite mounts after that. If somebody had given termite mounts, for sure, I would have given full points there. Uh, so three to Akshay. Three, three for Anthill. Okay, okay. Okay. Three to Akshay for Anthill. And Akshay uh, is on board with a nice leg like, bike kind of a <laughs> extra chalaj. <laughs> so, bye, bye. <laughs> bye, <maybe. laughs> Okay, cool. Three to Akshay for that, which means I'll come to Tushar now. Tushar is your direct. Okay, talking about a so two-word answer. I'm telling you now only. Okay, looking at a two-word answer. According to some sources, this term was originally coined in 1865 by Mark Twain to refer to contaminated whiskey. Its modern usage in sports can be traced back to an 1868 match between Sheffield Wednesday and the Garrick Club. Third, the term gained widespread popularity after the greatest game ever played in 1958 where the Baltimore Colts defeated the New York Giants 23-17. What is this term which is usually used in sports context? Uh, so, KV, is it like a very technical term regarding, uh, you know, like a certain, like, you know, act that is done in the game or is it like, you know, like something like, say, nutmeg or uh, Olympic goal, something like that? Or... Oh, okay. First of all, thank you for watching previous episodes and nicely bringing references like that, Tushar. <laughs> so good. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, nothing too technical. Like, not like... Uh, 
nothing too technical because just imagine that you can usually you can use this two word term to refer to contaminated whiskey also so it won't be too specific into a sport right it won't be like lbw for example just bad example but not very sports terminology and wild guess uh, guess is it uh, hail mary not hail mary uh, going to dhruv i can't think of it here pass okay passing to anshula uh, white wash not white wash going to akshay i want to say el clasico not el clasico okay like <laughs> no i was just imagining mark to drinking contaminated with <laughs> el clasico el clasico <laughs> <laughs> so good <laughs> okay we'll start again with tushar so i'll give you two separate hints and maybe combine them just for thought like a thought starter first is think what can happen to you as a human if you drink contaminated whiskey think on those directions first okay and like really contaminated like not just tap water mila diya but like really and on second second route think of matches that are tied and anything can happen like it's one one and then something happens okay two word term bad whisky match which are tied anything can happen is it huh is it helping oh <sighs> i don't know i give up uh, and you said it's a two word term right hmm. i don't know uh, is it something like that poison uh no 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 okay we'll go to dhru it's sudden death it is sudden death yes uh, six points there to dhru it is sudden death okay sudden death in sports terms as you might know if it is tied back in the day when there used to be no extra time as such you just decide on sudden death whoever scores wins and if you drink contaminated whiskey mark only this is sudden death <laughs> Okay, sudden death. The greatest football team ever played this book or match made it really popular. When the Baltimore Colts and New York Giants faced sudden death. Okay, cool. Six points there to Dhruv, which means the next direct will be to Anshula. Anshula, in this book by Mayank Sufi, the author delves into the lives of individuals often overlooked by society through interviews and vivid storytelling. Sufi paints a vivid picture of a community. that faces numerous challenges and complexities just tell me what's blanked out in the book title or what is this book about mayank austin sufi nobody can love you more life in delhi dash um it is a book about sex workers so it's life in delhi uh, red light district i'm not sure yes 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 yes, yes that is correct 10 points there to anshula red light district or sex workers so red light district was the specific answer we were looking for But red light district or red light district workers, uh, ten points there to Anshula. Okay, cool. Um, ten points to Anshula. Uh, which means the next direct will be to Akshay. Akshay on April ninth, nineteen seventy five, at twelve forty five p.m., an operation was staged against the Chogyal or Monar Palden Thondup Namgyal. A platoon of jeeps carrying armed soldiers surrounded the palace. and a sentry guard was shot dead after raising his rifle the process which was over in just 20 minutes resulted in the chogyal being placed under house arrest this marked the end of the namgyal dynasty that had ruled the area for 333 years what are we talking about what happened next put funda yeah is this uh, sikkim becoming part of india india yes yes okay. yes that is correct yes Sikkim became part of the Republic of India. Sikkim becoming part of India is correct. Beautiful. Ten points there to Akshay, and uh, which means the next direct will be to Tushar. Uh, nestled by Lake Newchatel or Newcastle, I don't know. This media pavilion, which you see, captivates with its fusion of filtered lake water and fog nozzles, crafting an otherworldly ambiance. Its design plays with perception, evoking a sense of Haziness and mystery, equipped with a weather station, it adapts the fog output based on weather conditions like wind direction, temperature, humidity, and wind speed. Its name, so the name of this place, hints at a lack 
of sharpness akin to something out of focus just tell me the name of this building so your answer will be dash building and there is a visual clue also if it helps okay so i have two answers in my mind it has to be one of them you know i'll just go for a cloudy building not cloudy building going to dhruv is it blur it is blur building yes it is uh... <laughs> That was darkness. Something out of focus. It's blurred. Okay. Blur building. Nice. Okay. 10 points there to Dhruv. It is blur building. I was hoping that was not your word, Krishna. <laughs> In my mind, oh. I was like, Tushar, pick, pick, pick the shorter one. Pick the shorter one. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. 10 points there to Dhruv, which means the next direct will be to Anshula. Okay. Uh, cocktail question, Anshula. The origins of this cocktail, origin of the X, are not well documented. But one claim is that X was invented by Peter Fitch, a head bartender at the Balm Springs Hotel in Alberta, Canada. He named all of his new drinks after favorite bands, albums, and songs. And he supposedly named this drink after the band of the same name, not directly after the US Stratofortress Bomber. Or the beehive hairstyle after which the band was named. Just tell me what this cocktail is called. Is the image supposed to be helpful? If I can ask. Uh, that is the cocktail. Okay. Ah, otherwise, in terms of etymology, I don't think there's a hint from the image. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm I'm taking time because I'm getting attached because it's a music question. <laughs> so, uh, sorry. Uh, but I can't. Uh, okay, I'm not able to think of anything, so I'll just name a Canadian band, um, Rush. Uh, no, going to Akshay. I have no idea about the band, but from the start of Fortress Bomber, I'm going to say B52. Yes, I knew Akshay will get it from this hint. <laughs> that must be know about Akshay now. <laughs> While I was reading, I was like, Akshay will know because of the of Fortress Bomber and not anything else in the team. <laughs> Nicely done. Yes, it is the uh, it is B fifty two. Uh, eleven point there to Akshay. And I have a feeling, Dhruv, you knew this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. my yeah, favorite yeah. shot. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so a lot of people are going to be laughing when they see this question. <laughs> like you know, they're like, you got the B fifty. I mean, you, your your quiz got the B fifty two question. So <laughs> oh, nice because I saw you. Like I could figure, you know, yeah. and I was like, man, if this passes to you and you get it, that will be a crazy end to the quiz. Because you guys were on 57-67. So if it passed uh, to you, you would have got a would have got that right, for yeah. this and you would have won. And you would have won on B-52. B-52, that would have been, yeah, that would have been a fairy <laughs> tale ending. Man. But this Akshay, no okay. shots, no music, he knows this because of the I bomb. Have no bomb. I don't know anything. I only know start of what was Bobber, B-52. <laughs> okay, okay. Of course, this is B-52. As Drew said, it's... Uh, uh, one of the most popular cocktails and that coffee liquor and then uh, Irish Kalua and Bailey's and Kalua and, yeah. And, yeah Grand Mariners okay. usually wow okay uh, and uh, and of course B52 Bomber has Akshay said and the B52s were the band uh, what a great quiz uh, brings us to the end of the quiz and we didn't know the winner till the last question which is a hallmark of a great quiz uh, but 11 to Akshay for this, which brings us to the end of this quiz. Let's take a look at the score. Akshay didn't have a great first half, but a great second half. Uh, 3 for uh, Termite Mounts, 13 for uh, Sikkim becoming part, no, 10 for Sikkim yeah. becoming part of India, and 11 for B52. Uh, Akshay ends on 24, 24, 24. Well done, Akshay. Well done, well done. Always a pleasure to have you on quizzing. Um, Anshula had 47. 10 each for Pluto and Red Light District in the second half. Anshula ends on 67. Now we come to this fantastic debut by Dhruv. Just till, till the last question, he was in the running to win this. Uh, great first half, great second half. 30 in the first half. In the second half, he got 11 for uh, the Popcorn Index. Then 6 for Blur Building. And 10 for... Uh, Sudden, no, sorry, six for sudden death, sudden death. and sudden ten death. for uh, uh, blur building. Uh, Dhruv ends on 57. 
and it's 10 points behind Anshula and if B-52 had passed, if the bomber had crossed Akshay, <laughs> gone to Dhruv. Uh, Tushar, uh, Sorry, always... Can always... I just interrupt? For Sorry, a yes. I think it was 11 for uh, Bloir for Dhruv, right? Oh, yeah. So 10. Uh, yes, yeah. actually, yeah. It was Tushar's yeah. direct. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. Yes, sorry, my bad. 11 for Blur building. It's, it's... Scores are bloody, yeah. Come on. <laughs> no, I <don't> like it. <laughs> if you needed it for fifty-eight, Drew gets, uh, and yeah, which is like less than ten points of Anshula, and Tushar gets ten for Titanic, and uh, one of the most fun answers. And always a pleasure to have Tushar here. His his energy is very, very nice, pleasant, this thing. But Tushar, so nice to see you back. I'll see you soon. And Akshay, again, we'll meet again. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, congratulations, Nanshula. Another victory uh, with on the oh, back of the first half. But Dhruv, you came so close. Uh, it was fantastic. I'm hoping to see you more and more on these quizzes. Akshay, Tushar, thank you so much. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.